Wait, I think it. Yes, I just got it. 50,000 subscribers. I've been waiting for the last like 20 minutes for three subscribers and I finally made it to 50,000. Thank you everybody who watches and supports. Love you guys. I was stuck at 3,000 for years, like literally years. And then finally now I'm starting to grow. It's 12.45 in the morning and we actually just finished filming the video that you're about to watch. So enjoy. Okay, so just drove about six hours to upstate New York from Pittsburgh uh, to check out this I-8. At the time of filming this, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get it. I gotta like talk to the dude and see if we can get the price to where I need it to be to make sense. I've literally driven my school bus full time for the last two years, which is big and slow. And before that, I could be done. Before the bus, I had a really shitty pickup truck that I bought for $1,800 that I also drove for like two years. So I decided it's finally time to treat myself to one of my dream cars. And hopefully I get the I-8 today. That's the plan. I got like 30 more minutes of driving to go and hopefully this works out. If not, gotta find another one. All right, well, I'm gonna try to film a little bit while I'm there, but not a lot. driving the i8 right now <laughs> and of course not even a tenth of a mile and there's a cop behind me following me now i switched lanes twice and he's uh switched lanes with me both times Bye. he's staring me down <laughs> what a great test drive <laughs> But yeah, we stopped in 321 Salad to get food. Unfortunately, I didn't get the car today because my bank is in a different city and to get money transferred over and it takes There's like no a day or so it. to do that. <laughs> money in it. There's about to be no money in it after I buy this car. Got a couple more things to iron out and I should be able to pick it up tomorrow. Hey, what was your name? Emily. Emily, do you want this hoodie? It's a Senate hoodie. I don't know if it's weird to give it to you because of COVID, but like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, here. Thank you. That's all yours, yeah. Can I yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Smile. Thank you. <laughs> You're smiling with your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, so we were on our way back. The guy called. So originally he told me, yes, there's a transferable warranty. Then I find out after wasting 13 hours of driving in one day that there is no warranty. It was like 950 miles in one day to not buy a car. Back to the drawing board and I got to find another one. I guess I got to get the blue one. It just makes the most sense. It's the best deal. Even though blue's not my favorite color, I can just get it wrapped a different color. How many days do you think you've been working on this? Oh boy. It's weeks, probably over a month. Here's all my spreadsheets. Uh, the first one was on November 26th and it is now December 12th. So it's only been like two weeks of spreadsheets, but it's been well over a month since I opened up my search nationwide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 spreadsheets. This is literally a breakdown of all of the best I8s in the country. This is a bubble chart that I made. Unreal. Literally, this is a dealership probably calling me right now. Hello? Hi, Brandon. It's Stephanie from Preston BMW. How are you? All right, you're welcome, sir. Thanks. Good luck. All right, take care. What? This is what I've been dealing with. I get a different answer from every BMW place that I call. Driving me insane. Okay, so I found another vehicle. It's pretty much identical to the one I just looked at. Same year, same color, less miles, and cheaper, which is even better. And I'm actually on my way to New York to shoot another YouTube video and had to stop at a bank, just finished wiring the money over. So tomorrow I should be able to drive up to Michigan and go pick up the car and bring it back to Pittsburgh. All right, so it's 5 a.m. in a hotel room in Michigan. Yesterday, we only planned on going to New York to film a YouTube video and then going back home to Pittsburgh. And then in the middle of all that, I found out that everything was lined up to get this car. So we drove all the way to Michigan last night after filming the video. So we only have the clothes that we had for yesterday. We got to sleep in this hotel room for like four hours. Got to hit the road again, another two and a half hours farther into Michigan, and then pick up the car and drive about seven hours all the way back to Pittsburgh. So that's the plan right now. All right, it's time to smuggle Pepita out of here. Let's go, Pepita. All right, finally made it all the way to this town in Michigan. I'm not sure how to say it. Muskegon. Muskegon? Muskegon. I think it's Muskegon or Muskegon? Muskegon? Muskegon. I don't know, but we're in Muskegon, Michigan. Finally got here after driving eight and a half hours since last night. Um, I'll pull up a map right now. So we started in Pittsburgh. We were on our way to Buffalo, but had to stop in Erie to wire the money. Then we drove to Buffalo, then drove to Ann Arbor, Michigan to stay the night there in a hotel for four hours. And then we drove the rest of the way to Muskegon and 
we're here now. I just parked outside of this guy's <laughs> place and he's about to come down and uh, show me the car. Nice to meet you. I just took this car for a test drive. I love this thing. All the driving, all of the weeks and months of researching, finally feeling like it's worth it. Got the key right here. We're about to go over, notarize some paperwork, and then I should be able to drive this thing back to Pittsburgh. When I was searching for these, I never even considered blue. I don't know, I thought it kind of looked a little bit girly, but in person, this thing is gorgeous. Oh, can't wait to drive this thing. I'm so excited. <laughs> I will, man. There's no question about that. This car is officially mine. Oh. oh my God. This is actually mine now. I haven't had a nice vehicle in so long. I've been driving, like I said, the shitty truck and my big slow bus, which I love my bus, but it'd be really nice to have, you know, big slow bus, small fast car. I'm super excited. I gotta call and get some insurance on this thing. It is so sick. I love this thing. I am like beyond excited to have this thing. Ah, now I just want to drive fast. Only made it a couple hours of driving and I already got pulled over. All right, I wrote your speed ticket, limited access, and I only wrote your five over. But anyway, you got to slow down on here. This doesn't show the total on here. I just got to no, call in and do that. Call. I don't know what it is exactly. It's not going to be a ton? No, no. Cool, because like I, I said, just spent all my money access. on this thing. I just got so lucky. Holy shit. I mean, I still have a ticket. It is what it is. So he only wrote me up for five over. I won't say how fast I actually was going. All right, let's continue this journey. Woo. Oh my God, look at that little thing on that road. That's so funny. I was following this little speed demon. She was going just as fast as I was because I was following her. I thought I was Oh. I know, yeah. I'm not getting a ticket. Wait, is that deer real right there? Oh, it is. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm trying to eat the lens. <laughs> Crystal wanted to stop at this place called Tony Paco's. It's like a famous Hungarian place, and her dad used to love this place. restaurant because he grew up in Toledo, which is where we are. And then we get here, and the first thing we see are three giant bucks, and they come up to us. Give me kisses. <laughs> All right, let's go eat some something. Good looking car. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. That fucker looks sharp. <laughs> Thank you. I had to come over and see what it was. I didn't know it. First. Thank you. Yeah, BMW i8. Does it handle as good as it looks? It does. I already got pulled over in it. Oh, <laughs> okay. You're breaking it in right. Okay. If you want to run them, then you run them from the start, you know? Good luck with your flying. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot how it opened. I'm in a spaceship. I'm gonna hop in the mom mobile. She's gonna drive the i8 for a little bit. There's no way. Ask first, ask first. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, but once you're in, it's like claustrophobic. Shut the door. No, I don't wanna shut, shut the, the door. door. Ooh, Ooh. Disco car. Got it. Oh, don't, you can't pull on the door. Help me. <laughs> I peed my pants a little. No, <laughs> you better not have peed in my car. Oh my god. Let's go for our spin. Let's go. So I finally got back to Pittsburgh. I picked up my homie Matt and Shane. We're heading down to downtown Pittsburgh because there's this sick tunnel that's like all lit up. It's like the same color as the IA. And then I'm finally gonna go to sleep for the first time in a long time. <laughs> Totally being Instagrammers in the wild. But I mean, like, hey, this spot is so sick. Except for those people who won't stop blasting their music. The car matches too well to not do this, so. It's all glamorous in the alleyway with the lights, and then you turn the corner, and it's literally just dumpsters everywhere. But over here, looks pretty sick. <laughs> 